We always talk about the 72 Dolphins, correct, guys? About to, being undefeated, right? Only team to do it. I mean, right? I, why are you asking me that No, question? I know I know that, but because I bring that up to say uh, the, the, we almost had the 73 Dolphins. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> you hey, know what I mean? Well, well, well done. We had the 70 Dolphins instead. With the champagne on ice? My goodness gracious. And joining us fresh off of that remarkable Love performance it. and remarkable start of the season, not just for the team, but him personally, Purdue Boilermaker in the house. Raheem Mostert here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you doing, Raheem? I'm great. How about yourself, Rich? I am great. What in the world is it like to be part of a game like the one you were in in the National Football League, Raheem Mostert? I tell you what, it's a, it's a lot of fun, Rich. Um, to be out, be able to be out there with the guys, you know, just having fun, doing what we do best, and just enjoying the, the moment, you know, it's truly something special. And something that's going to go down in history. You know, I know that we didn't get the um, the top notch of having the most points scored ever in a game. But, hey, you know, to be able to say that we're up there at the pinnacle is, is definitely something remarkable. But, I mean, you know how tough it is to win in the NFL and how tough it is to come up with points against grown-ass men looking to make sure you do not get a yard, let alone score 70 points and a 50-point win, Raheem. That is nuts. That is crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's when you think about it, man. It's just, it, honestly, is it really is crazy because these, these are grown men out here that are competing and battling each and every day. Um, you know, and to be able to put seventy points on the board, fifty points, um, and, and win, you know, that that big of a, a margin, you know, it's just, it's almost unheard of, especially in this league where it's it's tough to run the ball, it's tough to even pass the ball, and it's tough to put points on the board in and itself. You know, and I, I don't know if you're a talker out on the field. Are you a talker out on the field, Raheem? I, I usually I usually like to talk a little bit. Okay. Um, but I let I let my I let my actions speak for for myself. I think, but the reason why I ask that is a setup to say like, do you even stop talking at some point when you're beating somebody like the way you were beating them, Raheem? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think you should stop talking. I mean, I just tell them to check the scoreboard. I think that's <laughs> enough that needs to be said. Right. And so uh, what was what did you sense from the Broncos defenders in the middle of that onslaught, Raheem? I mean, I, I could just tell that the guys were about ready to just be be done with the game um, as we were. You know, we don't want to keep putting on a show like that. Um, you want to just run the ball out. And, and unfortunately, you know, <laughs> for them, it was still they still had to stop us. And uh, even even stopping the run, it was it was kind of tricky for them. Raheem Mostert of the Miami Dolphins, fresh off of the 70-20 to 20 win over the Denver Broncos. You are the perfect guy to ask about the coach here because uh, mm -hmm. you've known Mike McDaniel for quite some time back in your San Francisco days. When was the first time you met him, Raheem? Uh, yeah, the first time I met Mike was when he actually joined the staff, um, I believe, in 2017. Um, he was the run game coordinator. And, um, you know, me and him became very close simply because – you know, I would go to his office and we'd have one on one talks about, you know, the the upcoming week and the opponent, um, whoever we played. And, you know, I just try to get little bits and pieces of nuggets that I possibly can to elevate my game. Um, and I just took wind of of how fond he knew the game so well and how he can literally break down each and every position of the defense, the defensive line, what they're, you know, at the week during the week, what they what they're going to give us. And um, yeah, it just, it just became a great relationship between him and I. Well, Andrew Hawkins once told a story about him um, getting some coaching tips from him about uh, footwork and uh, getting off the line with certain footwork and how it will cause you to be open pretty much a hundred percent of the time and how just that little nuance is something that helped his game. Do you have something like that for me from McDaniel that uh, that he's told you that you've picked up some sort of detail that you can give the audience here, Raheem? Yeah. So, you know, um, when a, a running back or I mean, anybody that's running a route um, and they want to get a little bit of a separation uh, aspect. Um, one thing that he taught uh, me and, and some of my cohorts is, you know, put your foot down on the same side that you're going to. So. Uh, hard left to go left, um, as we call it. So you put your left foot down. If you want to do a double up move, put your left foot down and then put your right foot down and then you'll explode off that right foot and, and go left. And then it's just vice versa. You know, if you want to go right, 
put your right foot down, um, hard right to go right. So those little things right there, you know, for him to be able to teach guys like myself or or the receiver the receivers. It just shows you the 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 capabilities that he has and the intellect that he has in order to go out here and 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 help you know players produce at a high level. What about sometimes tossing it to you as opposed to having it handed to you and giving you some sort of an angle? I I, I kind of see that a lot. Yeah. Uh, wh- so, what do you got uh, there? Yeah. So in regards to like the toss plays, um, you know, it's still outside zone, um, but it's almost kind of like a trick play for the defense. You know, when the linebackers are reading their key um, their their key reads and they see my footwork and it looks like it's going to be a full outside zone play, play and really it's, it's not a stretch, you know, um, that, that gets them to overplay the, 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 the play and then the, the O-line can basically get, get them in, a, in at the right exact moment in order for them to uh, – get their blocks. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things that go on in this uh, offense that, you know, it it, it definitely helps, you know, jet sweep motions also um, this, it just puts a funk in the the defenders. So there's a, there's a lot of key aspects in the offense that, you know, the defenses have to have to manage. And in terms of, you know, helping the, the offensive line, you just mentioned Raheem Mostert about how the offensive line can be helped by the scheme. It sure looks like it's also helped by the scheme with keeping Tua uh, fresh and upright. The ball seems to be getting out. It seems to be even free rushers can't get to Tua before the ball is out. Walk me through how different your quarterback is from this year to last right now. Raheem. Yeah, you know, last year was just a learning curve for him. Um, you know, he's he's coming into a whole new offense, a whole new system, um, something that he's not particularly used to. Um, I mean, even prior to, you know, Coach McDaniel being hired, um, I know that he had to deal with three additional uh, offensive coordinators. So, I mean, that just puts a funk in a guy's mentality when you have to go from offense to offense, you know, year in and year out, especially uh, the way Tua has been able to you know, manage those things. And for him to come into this offense, you know, the second second go round, you know, year number two, it just shows you how how true of a, a pure passer he can be, uh, a pure, you know, technician out there on that field. Because at the end of the day, that's that's what you want as a quarterback. You know, you want your quarterback to be someone that can distribute the ball, um, that can that can get it out at a at a proper proper time. And then also his footwork. I mean He's, he's taking everything that he needs in his game, and he's just elevating it to the next level. Um, more so, you know, um, his health and the concerns he had last year um, when he got hurt and in the concussion against Cincinnati. You know, I hate to bring that up, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, he took this approach this offseason. Hey, I'm going to get better in this aspect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to protect myself. And he did some jujitsu um, that is really paying off. If you see the first two games that we had, um, there was a play, I believe, against the Chargers where one of the D linemen pushed him and he kind of like did like a, a roll and tuck. Um, this is something that he's been doing this whole offseason. So the guy's just really trying to be a technician in all facets of the game and even more so in his health. And he's taking those those steps in order to be great. Well, he's been in the spotlight clearly for a long time. Uh, and he certainly was in the spotlight the minute you know, he looked off a safety and found Devontae Smith in the end zone for Alabama for a national championship, and everyone thought he's going to go to Miami, and then he did. And then, uh, look, it's it's clear how many people are looking at Tua and are still even now surprised to see the way that he is playing. Uh, as you know, Raheem, I, you may not know, uh, but you know th- that's out there, but you may not know. I've been saying he needs to be more salty, Raheem. He, we, we need to see the more salty side of Tua. You know, where where he says, I don't know about you, but it looks like money. You know, like uh, he talked about the offensive line giving people the middle finger with their play. Like, I, I need to see more of that. Do you see any of that side of him that he kind of keeps quiet, Raheem? I need salty to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, to is, uh, he's coming into that game. He's coming into the, the, the I'm I'm a little more me now. Um, okay. I'm, I'm more relaxed. I'm more chill. Okay. Um, but. He also has that that winning eager, and if you if you know anybody that has that winning edge, yeah. man, they they're about ready to start talking to whoever comes across their path. And you know, as of lately, it's it's been you know the doubters and naysayers for him. You know, he he wants to 
he wants to prove people wrong. You know, he's always in the business of proving people wrong and he's doing, he's doing a hell of a job doing that. Yeah. You tell him, cause again, I haven't spoken to him in a bit and I I'm going to see you in Germany uh, when you play that game in Frankfurt and I'll tell it to him too. I need more salt. I need a chest pound. I need to see the saltiness in him. Cause yeah. I think that, that yeah. he's doing all right, obviously without my advice, but you know what I'm saying, Raheem, I need to see that. I get it. <laughs> Yeah, you want I, I get it, Rich. You want to see a little more nastiness come yes. up out of him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he's I mean, too sweet. He, you know? But the thing is though, with him, he 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 lets his his play do the talking. You know, he people say he can't throw a deep ball, and then you know, there's a a, a 60 yard bomb to him and him and Tyreek, you know, on that connection. So I mean, he's doing he's okay. doing that talking, but it's just it's just in his play more so. Okay. Raheem Mostert here, a few more minutes left with the Miami Dolphin running back. Um, so your your colleague who also scored four touchdowns this week, I want to say his name right because I heard last night that he won. It's not A Chain, it's A Chan. Is that is that Devin's last name? Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, Devon A Chan. Devon A Devon A Chan. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're saying his name a lot right now. Um, how good is this kid, Raheem? You've seen a few. Yeah, he's yeah, he's 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 unbelievable. I mean, the the, the kid's coming in as a rookie, um, and he's picking up this offense so well, and I. I've been in this offense, you know, for quite some time now, Rich. And uh, the way that he handles this offense, he's taking he's taking criticism. Um, he's taking crap from a vet like myself. You know, I gotta give him I gotta give him some some vet like some what? vet love. Like what are you saying? What are you saying? I I make sure that the snacks are are upright in our in our room in our meeting rooms. You know, he has to have some gushers and some sunflower seeds. Okay. At time. Okay. Uh, All right. So I, I give him some a little heckle about that, but you have standards. You know, honestly, yeah, yeah. You have standards. Uh, but, okay. But honestly, you know, he uh he's taking this offense very well. Um, I've seen a lot of rookies, you know, coming into this offense not understanding the playbook all that well. Well, and for him, he's just he's lights out. I mean, the, the kid is really he's he's gonna be special. Okay. All right. So um, have we seen? I mean, you did this without Waddle. What the hell? Oh my yeah. gosh! So if he was in, would you have scored ninety? Is that what if happened? Waddle was in, who knows? You know, he's a different he's a difference maker on that field too. Um, you know, I was I was a little bummed that he wasn't out there. Um, and he was he was bummed too. But I told him, hey man, you got to get your yourself right. You got to get that that health right, and we're gonna need you in the in on the long road. So be prepared to to put some points up against these other teams too. Okay, now let's just get into this before I let you go here. Um, they were talking about this on the broadcast that you believe 40 yard dash, you Tyreek, you Tyreek and Waddle, you win this race. Is that a true fact? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hands down. I win this race. Okay. I mean, uh, give me, give me, give me, give me more on that. More meat on that phone. What do you mean? I'll tell you, I'll tell you like this, Rich, when it comes to a race, right. Yeah. Um, Tyreek is more of a he he's fast. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Tyreek's fast. Uh-huh. Um, but I could break down his speed. He has more of that that quick twitch to him, too. Okay. Um, for me, I'm more of a a, a long strider. You know, I once I get going, mm-hmm. it's it's hard to catch me, it's hard to, you know, try to beat me. And same thing with J Dub. You know, he's more of that guy that's he's he's in between both Tyreek and I. So mm-hmm. It, it'll be a good race for sure, but I, I think I, I think I got the upper advantage. What about A Chain now that he's in this mix now? What about him? Yeah, yeah, A Chain's in the mix too. He's he's more of that that off the burst, you know, quick guy. So we're all it's it's gonna be neck and neck. It's gonna be. I will say this: we are definitely the fastest team in the NFL. And if we had a four by one, it didn't matter what position each you know player was in, mm-hmm. or each person was in. We 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 would win. Okay. For sure. All right. You know, and again, you're 31, man. This is, this. you're 31. Wait a minute. I'm talking to a running back who's playing in the NFL and scored four touchdowns. Um, <laughs> and you're over 30? I didn't know that existed. Raheem? Yeah. Look at hey, you. If Adrian, if Adrian Peterson and Frank Gore can do it, I mean, so can I. Okay. And you're faster than Tyreek Hill. You're faster than Cheetah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Raheem Mostert, I appreciate the time. Um, send my best to everybody there. Tell again, salty Tua. Tell Tua more salt 
in his verbal diet. Will you please tell I, him that for me? I need I, to see I it. Got you. Okay. I, I'll let him know. Well, I look forward to seeing you in Frankfurt. That's going to be uh, a great game, obviously, you versus the Chiefs. Um, certainly, uh, if everybody keeps playing the same way that you're playing. And I look forward to seeing you in person and thanking you for being on the program today. Likewise, Rich. Appreciate you, man. I think you're doing a, a heck of a job, too, brother. Keep, keep it up. I appreciate that. Hey, you, you're, you're talking about my speed, right? Is that what you're talking about there? My 40, correct? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, that's, and that's what I wanted to bring up. Yes. To you. Okay, yeah. Your, your form is just lights out. Like, I, I just, I love when you do the 40-yard dash. Uh, Hold on a minute. Um, I, I, I look forward to those moments. Okay, I, hold on a minute. So... <laughs> What? Cat. Excuse me. You be quiet. Cat. You guys may Wait, not chime in. Watching the right video? Excuse me. I have got a track and field star <laughs> from back in the day wow. and a 31-year-old who says he's faster than Tyree Kill saying, what about my form? I need you to repeat that, please. <laughs> what is that? You got some good form, right? You got some good form. We could tweak it a little bit to make you a little bit faster. We could tweak it a little bit. I'm, but by the way, all in all, I'm all good. ears. I am all ears. Just know I've disappointed so many people. I've disappointed Michael Johnson. I've disappointed so many fast, famous people. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you. But you're saying my form is like, it's good, right? It's not. <laughs> the arm swing is just is 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 up there. I will say that. Knee drive is perfect. You got You got a good knee drive. Arm swing, we could work on it, but it's it's more so about putting up, picking up and putting down. That's that's what you got to work on the most. Okay, you and I are going to have a wow. chat in Frankfurt, Germany, Unbelievable. sir. Unbelievable. By the way, I, I should I should just like stop broadcasting this today. This should be the end of it. News. <laughs> Raheem, Raheem you've made his day. He's just. He, I think he's still on the fumes of a seventy point game. <laughs> it must be. Thank I you, really Raheem. Am. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> 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 Take care of yourself, Raheem. This has been a blast. We'll do this again, you hopefully. Too. You got it. That's you Raheem Moster. Bro, you, bro, you keep up the great work, too. That's uh, Raheem Moster. Amazing. Wow. I did, that was a twist I did not see. Right? And oh, Henry, like plot twist at the just end. It's like M. Night. Wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> and you thought you saw dead people. I did. Well, I've seen you run. So is he. <laughs> So is he. Remember a few weeks ago in fantasy, I said Radio Raheem might be him. He's, he's dude. Him. He he is he a track. When I say him. he's a track and field star, let me get this right here. Let me get this right. That's that he was. He was uh, uh in the hundred meters a ten point six eight second one hundred meters. Dude, I mean, you have to be a little bit delusional to think you can outrun Tyreek. He's not delusional. And NHN. Don't we have you have that Field Yates tweet? Do you have that Field Yates tweet from the other day? Put it up. The next gen stats. There he is. He ran. He was. He could be. He was ticketed for speeding in a twenty mile an hour zone in week two in New England. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 